Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly how to take full page screenshots on any iPhone out there, including the iPhone 13s that just came out. It's a very easy process. It doesn't take too much time. The very first thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to find that specific thing that you want to screenshot. Now, from my understanding, this mostly works with Safari browser, but if you're using, if you're trying to screenshot something else, this may also work within messages and all these other applications as well. But for this case, I went ahead and loaded up apple.com and all you have to do is take a screenshot. So you can see I have the volume up button here and the power button here. So you just want to take a normal screenshot as you normally would. And what you want to do is when this little prompt comes down in the bottom left, you want to go ahead and click on it. So you come into this page. So all we did was take a screenshot and we clicked on that little image that popped up in the bottom left corner. Now what you want to do at this point is you'll see a screen option right here, but you will also see a full page option to the right of it. So all you have to do is click on that full page option and what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and load up the whole entire full page of whatever you just screenshotted. And you may be wondering, well, how can you go ahead and go through? Well, you can drag by two fingers with the whole entire image. You can zoom in normally. But if you look on the side, you can actually drag this down and drag this up to actually maneuver through this specific image. So that's another really awesome thing that you can do. Now, if you want to save this out, you can go ahead and click done. And it's going to go ahead and you can save it to PDF as file. So you can go and click that. And it's going to go ahead and save this. Either you can save it on your iPhone or iCloud drive. And you can go ahead and save this as an actual PDF. Now to find this specific image or PDF file, you want to go ahead and make your way over to your files application just like this. And typically it should be here if you don't see it, you can always click the little browse option, click on my iPhone, and then find that specific file that you just saved. And here is that specific screenshot. So that's pretty much how to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.